Hey folks, Steve here. How are you doing? Micro job today. I have to take a 2x4 right there because it's the only thing that I had. It's Sunday, it's Easter. And I have to take that and I need to make a closet rod support because I have about a six, six and a half foot wide closet. I have a one and a quarter inch bar, oak bar. However, with the weight over six feet, it's sagging. No surprise, but I'm going to create kind of a, a midpoint support. It's only temporary, but it's long-term temporary until we can figure out what we want to finally do in this closet. Closet is relatively new. We're not really using it, but just for excess overflow storage. We want to build the closet out with some kind of whatever, but this is just a micro job to get that supported because we're now transferring more stuff onto that rod and it's only going to take more weight. So that's what I'm doing. You can stick along with me and see the project happen. Don't need many tools. One thing I will need is a circular saw. It's going to be my joist saw because my regular circular saw is inside and the second circular saw I have that's set up just seven and a quarter has a paneling blade on it. And to go through that, it <laughs> has a dull paneling blade on it. That's not gonna cut it, literally. And I will need to drill a hole. And so for that, I'm going to need a drill. And I'm going to need a hole saw, but actually I think I'll use a Forstner bit. Inch and a half, should do it. Okay, two tools that I need. And I will also need to have a measuring tape and a pencil to mark it. Sixty-nine and a half to the bottom of the hole, and then this thing here could be it could be seventy-one, and then make sure that the top of my cut will be exactly what I need it to be, and that's those are the two lines we're looking at. I'm just eyeballing center. This line right here. The hole starts to close up, but my bar will actually sit down inside of that. It'll lift the bar up, give it support. And because it's just down weight at the moment, I should not have to do anything as far as to lock this in, to screw it in, to glue it or anything like that. This is only temporary. And there we go. That should work. Let's go fit it. Okay, I actually fit it in earlier and then forgot to film actually putting the thing in. So I'll just show you what it looks like with it in. It's not an ooh-ah moment. Oh, but here's the closet. So that right there is a bump out into our new addition from this bedroom. And we included this closet in basically a study area that's doubling as an art studio. There's the rod itself. I do have a little bit of a dip. I should have made that a little bit taller. But the fact is, that's going to support all the weight it needs to, all the way across, and eventually this closet will be somehow outfitted with some kind of build-out. Now, we're not quite sure exactly what that'll look like, but this closet needs to be way more functional, utilizing all the storage that we can possibly use, including hanging clothes. Let's go to putting away the tools, my favorite part. Well, one of my favorite parts, getting them out, making stuff, putting it away. Three parts, all favorite, let's go to that. Have I mentioned lately how cool it is to put tools away? 